Well, g'day. Thought I'd do a bit of a short video here. Well, hopefully short. You know me, get a bit long winded sometimes. On uh, issues with fridges. I've been fixing these. I haven't been doing any YouTube videos for a while because I've been pretty busy fixing fridges. These 12 volt compressor fridges. And um, yeah, there's uh, issues that they have are largely electronic. They are an electronic fridge, different to a domestic fridge to some degree uh, in that context. There's not a lot of refrigeration issues. It's far more common for it to be a fault with the electronics. And probably the most common problem that when people contact you is they're having an error code come up or some sort of um, erroneous fault. So the fridge is working, I've been on a trip, now it doesn't work, or it's not getting cold enough or something, you know, but or they're getting an error code up, either a flashing LED or something on the display saying F2 or F1 or depending on what brand of fridge you've got. And there's a one common problem with all of these fridges and that's this bloody cigarette lighter plug is the most common cause of faults with fridges. And these are of course fitted because every car, boat and caravan has got cigarette lighter sockets in them. Um, and that's the only way you can easily connect a consumer device such as your fridge or whatever else it might be to your car battery supply, your 12 volt supply in your car, whether that be a little electric jug or whatever else it might be. I don't know. But anyway, fridges are one of these things that rely entirely on this cigarette lighter plug. And they're fitted in four wheel drives as part of the power panels because so much stuff had um, cigarette lighter plug adapters for USBs, etc. Um, they're tending to become replaced now with dedicated USB sockets. But this thing's still there and it still uh, comes standard with every one of those fridges when you buy it. And if there's one thing you should get rid of, this is it. So what was the cigarette lighter socket designed to do? This socket was designed to light cigarettes. And that's about it. I don't even, you know, and this is what was originally plugged into it. This thing uh, worked okay. It only fired up for, what, 10 seconds or 15 seconds, and then that little coil would get red hot and you'd light your cigarette and put it back in. These tended to be a much better connection, I think, than the cigarette lighter plug because this is an all metal surround, so you've got lots of contact area for the negative. And, um, and I guess, you know, when this was pushed in, you had a fairly good contact. There's no wiring between here and the device. It's a straight connection right there at the socket. And it only ran for a very short period. These, on the other hand, um, there's only two points of contact for the negative on either side of the on either side of the body of this thing. And in many cases, only one of these is actually connected to the negative. The other one's just there to hold pressure against the side of the tube that it goes into. So this one's got both sides connected. Uh, and then you've got a point up the top here. And inside here, there's a fuse, which many people don't know about. So here's the inside of it. Um, now this one, as I said, this one's good. It's got, it, from, from this perspective, both sides, both of the metal flanges sticking out the side are your negative terminal connections. The positive has a little copper spring connector here that pushes on a M205, 20 millimeter long glass fuse, typically 10 or 15 amps onto a little metal tip. Then that spring maintains pressure on the top um, to you know, enable this thing to hopefully hold its spot in the cigarette lighter socket. But unfortunately, these two small contact points here are its weak point. What's one of its weak points? The second bad thing about uh, about this thing is is you've got a point contact here, you've got a point contact here, and a point contact up the top. Here. You've got three places you can get problems from dust uh, and carbon buildup as current runs through this thing. So these are a major cause of faults. Uh, with power issues and, and it may not exhibit as power issues as I say you get these error codes uh, F1, F2, F3 sometimes it comes up saying there's something wrong with the compressor and it's in fact nothing wrong with the compressor the problem is is the fridge keeps trying to start and fails and it has an intermittent contact caused by this dodgy cigarette lighter plug so if there's one thing you should get rid of in your camper, caravan, four wheel drive, whatever it's this thing Piss it off, get a proper connector, use an Anderson plug. Uh, so with a fridge, when these things start, particularly these large compressors in these big fridges, uh, they try to pull 
for, for a very short period through this thing, they try to pull about 10 amps for maybe 100 milliseconds. This thing just doesn't want to do it. And, and what happens is you get voltage drop then um, in the cigarette lighter sort of plug. You get this voltage drop between this point here, the positive connector here, and the tip up here. You can lose up to 2 volts just for that very short period as the compressor tries to start. You've also got this cable loss that's inherent within these. And you might have a, well, it's quite, quite often you get these cords, they're 3 metres long, uh, that go to your fridge. Uh, but two meters there. You've also got the cigarette lighter plug in the car. Typically has fairly small wires on it. They're rate, supposedly rated to 100 watts. Uh, but quite often when you pull the cigarette lighter socket out of the car, you discover that it's actually a um, only a very small two millimeter wire. So you've got voltage drop there between the battery and the cigarette lighter socket. You've also got the losses in this and then through your cable to your fridge. These compressors are only designed to run down to about 10.7 volts. Um, that's if you've set your fridge to low. There's quite often those fridges have high, medium and low setting on them, um, which is not a speed, compressor speed or compressor performance. That's usually an eco or max thing, but you have a high, medium and low setting. Low allows you to set the lowest point that the compressor can go to to start. And that's typically around, I don't know, about 10.7, 10.8. So if you're gonna lose, you know, up to two amps between across your cigarette lighter plug and your wiring from your battery, which might a, a static battery sits at around 12.5 a lead acid. Um, and so you, you've only got two volts that you can lose between the compressor terminals in here, which is where it takes its voltage reading from, and the battery at the front. So it's not too hard for you to get below the threshold. The, so when the compressor tries to start, the voltage drops down below 10.7 volts. The, this, uh, the smarts in the fridge just go, no, that voltage is too low because I want to protect your battery because that's part of what it does. And also the compressor uh, struggles too much to run below that point. It's just completely inefficient um, and so draws a lot of current. But consequently, the fridge tries to start, stops. And then it might wait three minutes or it might start, try again within a, a couple of minutes, depending again on the model fridge and how that's configured. Um, it'll try starting again, and it may or may not start. Um, if you've got the car running, it's got a far better chance of starting because when your car's running, your voltage of your battery is, is up. Instead of being 12.5, it's up near 13.8 or 14, depending. And uh, at that point, if your fridge runs when the car engine's running, then your problem is probably this thing, or poor wiring poor connectivity between your car battery supply and your fridge. So, get rid of the cigarette lighter plug and put an Anderson fitting on if you want to get rid of, you know, one of the, one of the major reasons for faulty uh, faults in your fridge when you're on a trip or something. Because the other issue is this. This is a shit connector. That moves. And it wiggles itself out when you're on, when you're on bad roads or even on any roads. Just this vibration anything pulling on this thing this thing can just come out it's very easy for this to disconnect itself from the little panel at the end of there inside there it's just, it's just a little flat contact point so it's very easy for this thing to come disconnected and that's quite often you would be surprised it's it's probably half of the problems i see uh, most um you know people who are really heavily into four-wheel drive vehicles have already changed these anderson plugs but you should do it get rid of the cigarette lighter plug you'll get rid of a lot of issues with fridges and I'll see less of them with that problem. Because I get them quite often. I bring them in here. I plug them in on, onto a power supply. Um, and I cannot fault that fridge. And it's because I connect it up with this. But if I put it on a cigarette lighter plug, I can probably get it to fault. When you put it back in their car, you can get it to fault. But it won't fault when you've got good connections. Absolutely important. So, you know, why are you lead into your plug permanently? If somebody wants to borrow your fridge and use a cigarette lighter plug, have a separate lead for them. Or... I've seen somewhere they have one of these for the car and then two more in line here uh, so that they can cut this off and um, have a cigarette lighter adapter to Anderson plug. Something, but just get rid of this. It'll get rid of your problems, a lot of your problems. You'll have reliable performance out of your fridge immediately and that won't be a cause of the fridge playing up. That'll, be, that'll take half of the issues that I see away. Cigarette lighter plugs should have a red circle with a slash through it. Absolutely. They should be banned, but 
again manufacturers have to put some method on that's universal and can connect any car and that's why they do it doesn't mean you have to keep the bloody thing just get rid of it piss off cigarette lighter plugs ban them keep you an environmental concern or something thanks for watching see ya